those guys. By the way, doing a tag team match. And I already know who. And I think the Enzo and Big Cats were in the main roster now. Maybe the last time in NXT? Maybe, maybe not. How you do? How you doing, Big Cats? Now, me and Enzo have been doing this longer than any tag team in NXT history. Yeah. And we have never gone toe to toe with our opponents tonight. And we will certainly find out if there's only one word to describe them. And I'm gonna spell it out for ya. S A W F T. So. And I knew they were facing the American Alpha. And they are the current and new NXT Tag Team Champions. And I'm excited though. Oh man, this is going to be an awesome tag team match between Enzo and Big Cass and American Alpha. Enzo! Jordan just 
trying to wear down Enzo Amore. Enzo's got to make a tag to the seven-foot-tall Big Cass. If he doesn't, Jordan may very well tear his left arm right off his body. I'm sure Enzo would come up with some clever nicknames for himself then. Now Jordan is trying to work Enzo back into his corner. There's the tag to Chad Gate. Again, down to the back goes Enzo. Again, American Alpha taking on Enzo. To that bad arm, man. Oh. It's one thing you know all too well, Grace, as a former NXT Tag Team Champion. It's one thing to become champion, but another thing to stay champion. It's a whole different ballgame for American Alpha now. Now they're defending. Now they are the target. Everyone in the Tag Team. Come on, Enzo. Between Jordan and Big Cass over there. Here on NXT, Enzo and Cass facing off against the NXT tag team. Oh, see, so tag Enzo in that shoulder tackle. Oh! Kick out. Last week on NXT, uh, Graves, these two talking a little bit backstage, a little appreciation, a lot of respect between these two teams. And Enzo Amore is one who offered a little friendly challenge to American Alpha. Friendly competition, championships not on the line, but you got to know. Look, Enzo and oh. Cass, that's what they have in the back of their mind. They know if somehow they're able to beat American Alpha tonight, they go to the top of the line. For the Wait. Tag, tag made by Cable. Oh! That arm drag. That left arm is taking a lot of damage already at the hands of American Alpha. Enzo. Oh! Can't see the can't see the final. Right on. Oh! Dang, both of them are knocked down. Let's take another look at this. Both Enzo and Gable seemingly on the exact same page. Double. It was both right hands. And then a double headbutt at the moment. Big cast gets the tag. And then Big Cass comes out. That American Alpha did not want to happen. Big Cass and Gable. Let's be honest. Big Cass is a game changer. He is seven feet tall. He's tough. He's agile. He can get it done. Oh, gee. And a lot of people are talking about Enzo and Cass. I mean, their first day on Raw, they showed up. They called out the Dudley boys. These guys talk a big game and they back it up. Now, Big Cass going for that arm on Gable. Big Cass, remember, Enzo Cass had a broken leg for the better part of a year. Big Cass held down the fort. He waited for Enzo Amore. Oh! I tell you, Big Cass, he's seven foot tall. On the exact same day as Jason Jordan, we took our medical test together in Pittsburgh. We got down there, and Big Cass was within the time. We've trained together. We've come up together. We've built this thing together. Pick out. So much respect for each other in the ring right now. The leg drop. Also Enzo Morris. <laughs> what do you mean? There's also Enzo Morris. In the headlock. There. He's arguably the greatest talker ever in NXT history. I know you're gonna get all upset about that because you probably think you're the greatest talker in NXT history. <laughs> I love that chant. Here so far in this matchup. Well, it's an unusual situation. Uh, American Alpha has been such fan favorites since they got since they got on the same page. I mean, seemingly every time they appear, the crowd goes ballistic. Enzo Amore might be the favorite here. Let's see how American Alpha reacts to that. NXT Tag Team Champions, a little less than three weeks removed from their championship victory. At NXT TakeOver Dallas. Now, oh, 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 oh. Trying to make a tag to Jason Jordan. Good job. Oh. Enzo, keep Tags to be cast. Oh. Enzo stops it. Oh. Wow. Kick out. And I tell you that pause at the very best moment. It pauses like every moment that happens. in the corner yeah take a look at this the 
Seven foot tall, you can't teach that. It's crazy, man. Former NXT tag team champions, if there's one thing we know about the revival, they hold a grudge against both of these teams. Whoa, again! Dang! Oh my gosh. I can tell by Big Cass's eyes right now. How are you doing? Splash in the corner, but that did not happen. Now Gable trying to crawl into his corner. Big Cass dives into the tag. Tags in the end zone. Tags in the joining. Oh, drop kick. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow, the suplex. Straps are down. Oh, my lord. Oh, my gosh. Did Big Cass sacrifice himself for Enzo? Or the same? Oh, Big Cass sacrificed himself for his own team. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, no, another one. Oh. Now the straps are up again. Oh, you're doing that again. match because this is a great to kick off NXT so far. Again, friendly competition. Both respects to both teams, even though Enzo Bakas are my favorite tag team of all time. But still. It was Big Cass sacrifice himself for Enzo. Wow. I've seen the highlight. Wow. Okay, I've got who the opponent he's facing, but this is the debut of No Way Jose. And I get the theme catchy though. But I don't know who's that guy, but still. I think Alexander Wolf, that's what it is. That's his name. He's got the booze. His team's catchy. Well, I'm talking about No Way Jose, if that's what you're doing. No, wait, hold on. The universe is certainly taking over pretty quickly. Uh, no way, Jose, one of the uh, newest superstars here to NXT, as we talked about. And, oh, and his, his hips don't lie. Hips don't lie, y'all. <laughs> I bet he's dancing over there. Is this what dance fighting's all about, Graves? <laughs> Apparently so. No. Oh! The moves. Oh! Flying snap air there by No Way Jose. Wait, is that an airplane spin or is just that? Yeah, I think that's an airplane spin. <laughs> oh my god, he said he wants to do that again because it's an airplane spin. Oh! 
Centon Bomb, thank you for the rolling. <laughs> oh, leg drop. Wow. I must be all smiles for NXT. Did oh. Oh, okay, okay. Facing Nia Jax or whatever. Oh, dragging Deanna out like a rag doll. <laughs> Dang, girl. Oh, squashed her in the corner and another. Squashed her like a bug. Ow. Here we go. Oh! Right the shoulder breaker, right to the shoulder, man. Uh oh. Oh! That elbow dropped another, man! Jax was paying very close attention to NXT TakeOver Dallas and now has her sights set on Asuka. Look at this, she, she's letting, she's giving Deanna Perrazzo time to get up just so she can oh, knock her back Are out. you trying to roll up Nia Jax here? Wait. Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Caught Deanna. Oh, she's trying to go for a clothesline. Well, we'll try and close up and sell to his feet. Oh, no. Oh, no, the Samoan drop. Whoa, man. Don't you think you're getting a little bit too personal? Wow. Okay, if you're starting to think that ends in two minutes. Wipes Diona clean. Like, like wipes her out. Like, knock out quick. But still... The only person I know can stop Nia Jax is Bailey, who defeated her at NXT TakeOver London. Even though Samoa Joe is facing Apollo Crews in the main event. But this is going to be awesome. The main event of NXT. Apollo Crews is certainly the closest thing we've seen to the total package in a long time. The guy can fly, he's got power, he's got ground game. 
but Samoa Joe has experience on Apollo Crews. You heard Apollo say earlier that he watched Samoa Joe before he became a wrestler, before he got into this business. He knew about Joe and what he's capable of. Oh, I'm sure he's got a game plan, but Joe can throw you off oh so quick. And Samoa Joe talked about it over the last few weeks here on NXT, saying, quote, I'm a warrior. I've been on a war to try and get to the NXT Championship, and it starts all over again tonight. What, I mean, what kind of mindset would Apollo Crews be being in the way of a Samoa Joe? Unfortunately, the corner. that's part of this business. You can't always pick and choose your opponents. Sometimes you draw the hand that is an angry Samoan like Joe. Cruz has been building a lot of momentum on Raw and SmackDown. He's been very impressive, but Samoa Joe could put a stop to all of that. I think who should be most troubled by Samoa Joe's mindset is Finn Balor. You heard Joe flat out say, this isn't over. Oh, He's man. not done yet. His focus hasn't shifted from Finn Balor. He still wants to take out Finn and his NXT championship. Finn making history this past Sunday, surpassing Neville as the longest reigning NXT champion in history, now at 291 days. Tomorrow night in Lowell, Massachusetts, Samoa Joe challenges Finn Balor for the NXT championship. We hope you'll join us if you're in the New England area this Friday night in Kingston, Rhode Island. And then again, NXT Live this Saturday night in Poughkeepsie, New York. For more information, go to WWE.com. Now you never know for sure what's going to go down at an NXT Live event. You never know what's going to go down. Who's going to show up? We've seen Kevin Owens show up. We've seen Triple H. One thing is for sure, there is a reason NXT is the hottest ticket in town no matter where it goes. Oh! There goes the chop. And right hands. Some people like Joe, some people like Apollo Crews. Bring right hands in the corner! Whatever your game plan was, Apollo, you better pick it up. Oh, another one. People keep throwing, people keep throwing right hands at each other. Oh! Oh, drop kick to Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe one on one here in our main event. We are just getting started here on NXT. Oh, Samoa Joe laying into Apollo Crews. This is our main event here tonight on NXT. The entirety of the NXT universe resetting after NXT. Why is it everyone keeps everyone keeps throwing right hands? In their own way, everyone on their own paths. We know what Apollo Crews has done lately on Raw and SmackDown. Tonight he runs into the buzzsaw. Oh! Oh! That is a guy! Whoa! Take another look at this. Samoa Joe. So so dangerous. Sending Crews across the ring. Full speed ahead. We knew Joe was going to be on a tear coming into tonight. Disappointment after NXT TakeOver Dallas, the NXT Championship match. His second crack at Finn Balor, unsuccessful. Perhaps taking out his frustrations here tonight on the leader of the... What is it? Elbows in the head. Right hands. No well, even Joe though everyone uses it. Said earlier on the night, uh, Apollo Crews calling Samoa Joe. Oh! Here goes Chop. Apollo Crews also said earlier that it was the beginning of the... The elbow, Snoop Dogg. Taking another look at this, Apollo for a moment had an opening here, and then Samoa Joe watches this right to the face with a big elbow. Joe just wrenching on that neck. That's the mission hold. Graves at NXT TakeOver Dallas. There was a look 
in the eye of Samoa Joe, there was a, a desperation, but a laser focus that was downright scary. I've ever seen Samoa Joe like that. By Joe's own admittance, he was obsessed with the NXT Championship, and he came up short. I mean, what's what's worse than obsessed? I don't, I don't have an answer for that, but whatever it is, that's what Samoa Joe is right now, which makes him even more dangerous than he was before Dallas. Dell. Now Joe, knee right in the spine, gluttoning the chest of Apollo Crews. Crews going to have to find a way to counteract the power and quick strikes here of Samoa Joe in our main event. This is where the power game starting to come into play by Crews. Like you said at the outset, he might be one of the few guys that can match raw power with Samoa Joe. Oh, the drop. Oh, the big boot. Oh, Santon. Oh no. Joe into the cover to put away Apollo Cruz. Kick out. Wow. Yeah, Cruz said earlier that he doesn't like bullies, but he's getting bullied around right now by Samoa Joe. That's what Samoa Joe does. He imposes his will on you, whether you like it or not. And plain disrespect from Joe. Hey, bud. Cruises doesn't have an answer for Joe. <laughs> now Cruz doing the smart thing, trying to use his strength here against Samoa Joe, trying to ground himself to counteract the suplex. Look at Joe almost shrugging that off. Like, you gotta do better than that. Oh! I think he reversed the suplex. with a suplex of his own. Wow. Not too many men who can do that to Samoa Joe. Both men down, both up to the count of ten to get back to their feet. They keep counting before the ref says the count. Now Cruz back up to a vertical but base, still. and here comes Samoa Joe. Apollo Cruz battling back. Oh! Three right hands goes another. Runs wild. Now Cruz measuring Samoa Joe. Oh, oh the end of the game! Here you go. Cruz oh, a moonsault! Oh, so close! Safety man. Samoa Joe. Let's take a look at this. Beautiful standing moonsault. Got all of it. Unfortunately, it was not quite enough to put so Samoa close. Joe away. Wow. 
guarantee you one man that's watching is Finn Balor. Dang. He had a rivalry with Finn Balor since September. Are you serious? Or was it around October? Dang. That's what got Finn Balor. That's no. That's what got Apollo Crews to get into this Kamala clutch. Wow. Once again, there's that terrifying gaze 